Welcome back, family crew, to part three. This is the third part of the trilogy from one collection, one haul that I got from my job. Uh, these are all VHS. Charter Entertainment, Toby McTeague, Hi-Fi Mono. Know nothing about this. Looks like it's 1987. Just looks like it could potentially have some sort of interesting previews at the beginning. Usually when I say that, though, they end up having nothing. Uh, the Golden Seal. Embassy Home Entertainment, 1984. And then some Scotch T T120. Oh yeah, troubleshooting. That's not even a T120 tape. That's the wrong package for that. Uh, troubleshooting and distributing for distributors and ignition systems DIS. I think is that the same what I saw in the last video? It seems similar. Or is the other one GM? And then we got Jolson Sings Again. This one doesn't have blackface like the original one does, as we saw in, I think, two videos ago. Uh, so it's uh, Columbia Pictures Matching Spine. So that's a sequel to the one that we saw already of Al Jolson, the Al Jolson, Al Jolson story, I believe it's called. Uh, so that goes with that one. Woody Allen, Jan Margolin, Take the Money and Run, ABC Video. This two tape set from the Rogers and Hammerstein collection of The Sound of Music, The Silver Anniversary. This film has been remastered from a new print. That's nice. So this is from 19, 1990. So that's, I think, the maybe third version of Sound of Music I have. I have another two tape set, CBS Fox video, and then I think I have the Fox Clamshell. Um, and then these came in. I think we saw one of these in, in the video previously. Uh, the best of Saturday Night Live. I think I had one bought from my same location where I worked last weekend, but it was 1976. So, or no, so, sorry, 1975. So then these came in all in one collection, 1976, 1977. 1978, 1979, and Saturday Night Live goes commercial. This one looks like it's, it goes into the 90s at least, at least the late 80s. 1992 Star Maker. Interesting. So yeah, so now I'm not sure how many of these they released. But obviously, as, as I said, I bought 1975, I think, last weekend from my job. And that, then these came in the next day, or next week. So I decided to get all those. Uh, then I found this. Another white clamshell original version of the Little Mermaid. With the, this is the recalled version. Now I had to, I built a little box, and I start stashing all my tapes Friday when I go in. And I usually pay for all of them on Sunday. So I had this stashed away in my box, and then I was lugging a cart to the back where we stash everything uh, before it's gone through and put back out on the floor. Then I saw a copy of this laying back there, and I thought maybe somebody had gone through my box and stole it and put it back, but no, it just ended up being a completely uh, separate copy. So we have two, co we had two copies of those. Uh, of course, I already own it. I actually have my own actual version I got for my birthday or something when I was a kid. Uh, those aren't worth anything. It's just a fun find. And then I got... Uh, the Babysitter's Club, the movie from the mid-90s. Um, I have a copy of this, but it's a slipcase. I literally bought this when I was a teenager because it has Rachel Lee Cook and Larissa Olenek, or Olenek, depending on how you hear it, uh, Alex Mack, and then She's All That. And I was just, I love those chicks. Um, it's creepy to look at this now, being that I'm 41, but keep in mind, I was the same age or younger than they were when they made this movie. But I just thought that was a fun, nice, I hate these clamshells, these big ones with the, with the flaps. Because they, they get bent so easily. But I figured that'd be a fun one to add to the collection. And then going along sort of with that. Is I have Warner Home Video. Orange Tag Comedy. Black Clam Shell release of the main event. With Barbara Streisand and Ryan O'Neill. Um, so I've added a little bit to all my collections this, with this past weekend. Com maybe completed the Saturday Night Live collection. 
uh, added to the Warner black clamshells, added to the Columbia Pictures matching spines, some CBS Fox videos, uh, some of the color tagged Warner Brothers like that, but in the slip cases. And then I, I got World's Greatest Train Ride Videos, Canada. Now recently we saw a box set, a two-tape box set, similar to this, is like great, Greatest American Train Rides, but in the United States it's like a two-tape set. But this is a black clamshell, 1996. I believe the other one we saw before was 1993-94. But that concludes the three-part trilogy of one haul. So if you look back at the other two videos, including this one, everything was accumulated one weekend at my job, working Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which would be pretty much everything that came in from last Monday all the way through Sunday. This is all the stuff that I found interesting. So we'll look at all these again eventually eventually in in one haul or one uh, inspection video. Uh, and some of these ones that are just interesting, I might have to rip and put on the channel for viewing pleasure. As always, let me know what you think. Uh, do you have any of these old black clamshells from Warner Brothers, um, Babysitter's Club, Ellen Burstyn? You know. uh, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.